right, and welcome back. We're on the floor of the NBA's National Convention in Nashville. I'm Rick Grant, and I'm sitting now with an old friend of mine, Matt Hydru. Matt is the Vice President of Sales and Customer Success for Credit Expert. Matt, it's been too long, man. Yeah, nice to see you. So talk, Great now, to be here. Now, you've been in this business for a while, and you've seen it up and you've seen it down. Talk to me about what you're seeing in the industry right now. Well, I mean, of course, it's a heavy purchase market, um, but volume is down considerably. Both, I mean, refis are significantly down and purchases are also down. Uh, interest rates are up. Um, but if you look at historically volume where we're at, we're kind of on pace with where we were pre-pandemic in a way. So, you know, it's a challenging market. There's people that are losing jobs. Um, but you know, we'll get through this. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll get, get through this. this. And, and and that's what, what I think what we're trying, trying to address here at Credit Expert. Well, that's what I was going to ask you, because as long as I've known you, you've been working for client success. Now it's in your title, right? It's part of what you do. What does that mean at Credit Expert? I'm actually, I'm really happy you asked that. Seriously, because at Credit Expert, I try to explain to everyone that client success isn't like just a fancy title for account management. When you focus on your client's success and what makes them tick, what makes them special, what makes them productive, what makes them profitable, you know, the rest kind of comes together. And you got to figure out a way how your solution fits into their ecosystem to make them more successful. And then you focus on that, everything comes together. Client first. Uh, it's just kind of a way of being, Yeah, you know, and building those trusted relationships, things like that. I love it. It sounds somewhat, sometimes you go, it sounds like a talk track, but it, it's definitely believe in it. Yeah. Know? So tell me, how do you and your team accomplish that? How do you help lenders be successful in this market? You know, we're just at the tip of the iceberg. Credit expert traditionally hasn't been involved very closely with many lenders. You know, we've offered the solution through credit reporting agencies and they've done a great job. Um, but, but in that channel model, it puts us a couple steps, steps away from our end users. Right. And, and so, so with the launch of the new platform, it allows us to get more engaged. And so what we want to do there is learn about what are they doing pre-application, top of the funnel activities. Credit Expert at its core is more or less a client retention tool when you think about it because you're creating trust and transparency. And so when we're working with lenders, we're trying to understand what they do at lead stages and pre-qualification stages. And then what is fallout there? Is what's fallout due to credit? You know, um, and then at application stage, uh, when you're reporting apps, you're you're dispositioning those apps, and there's going to be credit fallout. What are you doing to those people that you're saying no to? Yeah, uh, it may be better to say not now, and that's a better customer experience for your client, your borrower. So. We're trying to learn more about what their processes are around credit. And then how is our solution going to enable them to help more people? So that's just kind of what we're focused on. What a great role for you, Matt, because you've you've been part of that discussion with lenders for a year, as long as I've known you, right? Yeah. Helping them understand how the process works. But I understand at Credit Expert, you're helping them change the process with this credit first strategy. Talk yeah. to us about that. At some point in time, a borrower is going to inquire a shop for a loan, right? Mm -hmm. yep. And the lender is going to have uh, processes. Do they do pre-qualifications? Do they pull a single bureau soft pull of credit to uh, try to qualify them? Are they doing a tri-merge credit report right away to really understand the full credit profile? And what we do very quickly is we consume that credit data. We, we give an idea of a probability of success to increase that credit score to let the originator or the, the mortgage professional, mortgage professional know, that, know that, you know what, you know what? This, this person isn't at a 720, they're at a 700, and there's a 90% chance we can get that done in 30 days or less so we can get them a better rate. But there's all kinds of time frames. There might be more challenging credit profiles with consumers. We might need three months, but the solution could be done immediately takes literally seconds and then we rescore yeah or we wait 30 days and repull credit or we wait six months and repull credit but the beginning of the process is really important for lenders and for us to understand when are they engaging with a consumer and pulling credit to me it's the credit data which is you know we make a lot of decisions off that so 
Yeah, well, key word you just said to me was engaging. And that in a competitive market, that's one of the keys to holding on to these prospective borrowers and pulling them all the way through oh. to close, right? I, I mean, absolutely. You know, that we talked about that it is a heavy purchase market. Yep. You know, this tool, you know, uh, in a refi market, you have to do it quickly, yeah. right? Yeah. But people, we know through our mortgage credit potential index and the surveys that we've done that people are shopping for mortgages even prior to deciding what home they're going to purchase, right? So we, a lender has time. And when a lender pulls credit, right, there's trigger leads that go out there. Right. So there's there's blood in the water, yeah, so to speak, yeah, yeah. and everyone's going after your customer. Right. So what are you going to do to insulate that by showing them that you're thoughtful about credit you're making sure you're maximizing their mid credit score to make sure they get the best deal possible in a raising interest rate environment. They're going to say, you know what? They care about me. Yeah. Yeah. And I trust them. That's fantastic. You know? That's fantastic. So are, are lenders getting this? Are they starting to understand the value that this brings? I think so. I mean, um, it's been a very tactical tool. Mm -hmm. Really traditional use of credit expert has been, you know, uh, buy a loan officer, savvy loan officer, really trying to help a borrower. Right. Um, we're trying to make this more systematic. We're trying to make um, an always on product that they can help more people um, with the new, the new platform is enabling them to do that. Lenders are um, getting that concept, but also we've talked a lot about making home ownership accessible and affordable. That's our mission, but how are lenders doing that um, with certain tactics and credit expert is a certain tactic to say, Hey, you might be credit challenged. I have something to help you. You might be an underbanked community. We have something to help with credit. So it's not only is it a tactic that could be used to offset, you know, accessibility and, uh, a home ownership, but also we all want to maximize our score to get the best deal because a quarter of a, of a rate increase is going to be a big deal. Yeah. Especially, you know, we were talking about six and a half to 7%. Yeah. I'd rather have a six and a half percent. Yeah. yeah. It's a so, big deal. And if the, if the loan officer is actually helping you and seems interested in getting you that lower rate, well, that's somebody you want to work with. Somebody you want to refer. So, yeah. You know, what we're trying to do though is, is put more processes around it. What can we automate to make it easy? And can we delegate to someone who works for many loan officers within the credit expert platform so that the loan officer is managing the relationship, of course, but doesn't necessarily have to be the one to run credit expert. You know, they can work in conjunction with the loan officer assistant, let's just say, that is uh, producing plans and helping consumers or with the central group. So. The, the technology, technology is kind of a no-brainer, but what are the policies and procedures right, around right. the technology that is really going to enable the lender to help a lot of people? Oh, management must love that because then they can see what their loan officers are doing, who they're helping, and uh, without taking loan officer time away from what they're strong at, right? Yeah, yeah what we're super stoked about is all the analytics behind yeah. the platform, the reporting, the tracking. Yeah, oh, yeah. You know, all that has not been it's, it's not, not been built into the product yeah. uh, until recently. That's so, fantastic. Yeah. That's fantastic. All right. I know you're busy. I know you got a lot of people to see at the show. What if if you had to leave with just a couple of things you'd want prospective lenders to know who aren't using credit expert yet, but need to be, what would you tell them? It's a perfect time to try a credit first strategy. Um there are many non-users out there, and there's many reasons for that. It blurs credit repair or credit counseling. We couldn't be further from that. It's a very tactical, data-driven analytics tool. And in a market where rates are increasing and affordability is an issue, we need to help borrowers maximize their affordability. And one of the lowest hanging fruits to do that is to maximize the credit score. That's right. Matt, people are going to want to find out more. How do they get in touch with you? What's the best way? Well, you can uh, email me at mhydru at creditexpert.com. You can find me on creditexpert.com very easily. You can message me on LinkedIn. I'm pretty easy to find. <laughs> Excellent. Folks, we've been visiting with Matt Hydru. He's the Vice President of Sales and Customer Success at Credit Expert. Matt, it's great catching up. Thank you, Rick. 